Hey guys, I'm here to do a book review on you by Charles Benoit or Benoit or I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name. First of all, I'd like to point out the cover. The cover I think is very um I don't know the right words. I just think it's it's awesome looking, um artistically uh intriguing. I like how everything's shattered here. That actually kind of, when you read the book, it kind of works with the book. And when I first seen this book, even when I first got it, I thought that the book was called You. And it was a You. But, if you open the book up, it's actually Y-O-U, which is very neat. I really like that. Um, this is a debut novel for 2010. And it's only like 220-something pages long. 223 pages long. The type is actually rather on the large side, and it is double-spaced. So I did finish this um, in an hour and a half. It was a rather quick read. I'm going to go ahead and read the inside flap to you, and then I will tell you what I thought of it. This wasn't the way it was supposed to go. You're just a typical 15-year-old sophomore, an average guy named Kyle Chase. This can't be happening to you. But then how do you explain all the blood? How do you explain how you got here in the first place? There had to have been signs, had to have been some clues that was coming. Did you miss them or ignore them? Maybe if you can figure out where it all went wrong, you can still make it right. Or is it already too late? Think fast, Kyle. Time's running out. How did this happen? So this book, <clears throat> it was written. It wasn't written in verse, but it very well could have been. Um, because a lot of it is actually almost like that. The writing style I really liked. It didn't get into too much detail, but yet it got to the point of things. It was a fast read in that, not even that it was short, but it literally, when things happened, because there wasn't a whole lot of detail and got right to the point, it was just like boom, 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 and, and you just were like, you know, and you already absorbed it all. You already got everything it was trying to say in, you know, such a short amount of words. It was, it was really good. It was, to me, it was very intense. It was dark, um, definitely a dark book. This book is about, like it said, a teenager named Kyle. Now, Kyle is a sophomore, and he's not the perfect kid. He gets into trouble and stuff. Um, he's rebels a lot, and... He basically talks about his interactions with other kids at school. Um, his interactions with one of the jocks, um, I believe his name was Jake. Um, his interactions with him, his interactions with Ashley, uh, that's who he has a crush on and has for a while. Um, also, his interactions with the new kid, Zach. Um, Zach, his interactions with Zach, I think, is where it was most dark and it was just well written um like i said it was very fast paced now there were some instances where like he got in trouble and was in the principal's office and it went into a little bit more detail there um but not in depth detail it was um when i got to the end though that very last page this author did a phenomenal job on the ending like Gosh, he doesn't, it's almost that he just, like, stopped, but the way he just stopped was so good. Um, and you don't know what became of what happened because he just stopped, but, like I said, just the way he did it, though, like, it was, like, an artistic, I know I keep saying artistic, but it was just, like, it was so good. I, I don't know. I really like the ending. I haven't read a book with an ending like that. So, and the ending, I'm talking about literally the last page. So, yeah, I would check this book out. Like I said, it's a it's a quick read. It's dark. Um, yeah. Kind of creepy. Not creepy as in scary, but just creepy as in what humans are capable of, I guess. So... Yeah, I definitely would check this book out. You by Charles Benoit, or Benoit, or whatever. <laughs> um, there are a lot of blurbs on here. Lauren Oliver, authentic, ambitious, and gripping. 
uh, Michael Grant's had a shattering, gut-wrenching novel that puts you right in the center of the story. Pick it up and you won't put it down. Um, Chris Crutcher, he was the author of Iron Man and Deadline. He said, want to know who the real bad guys in your school are? Read you. This book will keep you reading and then it will start you thinking and talking. You is good stuff. And Robert Lipsyth. Lipsight, author of The Contender and Center Field, said, A sandstorm of a novel as harshly real as hell or high school. I loved it. So, yeah, it was, like I said, it was definitely a good book. So, right now I'm going to read Rival, uh, the new debut author, um, new debut novel. And I do want to read an adult book, adult fiction book. I'm debating on, like, a Jonathan Kellerman or something like that or a true crime. I'm not sure. I've been away from those books for a while and I, I do miss them. So, And I've actually had quite a few people lately asking me to do um, bookshelf tours of my true crime, but I did one a couple months ago. Nothing's changed. So, Alright, I'm going to go guys. Bye.